John Freeman, who is Gordon Freeman's brother, was one day in the office typing on a computer. He got an email from his Okay, I'm going to show you how to do some simple vehicle modifications using Pack Editor. For example, replacing the back wheels. Now, once you get more into Pack Editor, you can do much more to vehicles than just replace the wheels, but that's one of the main things people like to do with it. So, as you can see, this these work just like regular wheels. But they aren't the regular wheels. So, what we're going to want to do is spawn a Jeep, then hold C and open Pack Editor. Make sure everything's cleared. You don't need anything in there. And now, you're going to want to go to Options here. Make sure that this is checked. You might already have it checked, but if you don't know what I'm talking about, you don't have it checked. You need to check it. Now, right here you have this. This is your main group. You have that selected automatically. You want to go down here where it says Owner Name. Click the box right here next to it. Then select. You see all these white dots appear everywhere. You're going to want to select this one that appears right about here underneath your vehicle. Click that. And then it appears to do something. Now, if you right-click on here and add a model, the model appears on the vehicle, see? And it's not a physical, like, um, it doesn't have any collisions, like a prop. It's just visual. That's what Pack Editor is. It's just visual. So, now we can change this model to anything we want. For example, this best way to change models is just right click, copy clipboard, get the name, go to here, model, control V, hit enter, crap, uh, control V, hit enter, there we go, there it is, right there. Now, I'm going to want to add some bones, bones let you resize bones, usually on a player model, but in this case on the vehicle, now we're going to hover over the wheel select this one rig buggy wheel right R set that to zero for the size that makes the wheel appear to be invisible when really it's just infinitely small now we select this go to bone select that same bone oh no not the same bone wheel right rotate because it needs to rotate oh and make sure the position is set to zero so that it centers on the wheel. Now this prop is already sized correctly so that it appears to be making a collision with the ground. You may want to resize if you use a different prop. But you can, um, if you find the right scale, you can make it appear wider. Now, for the other wheel, we do the same thing. To speed it up, I'm just going to clone this one and then rename it to left. but since I have terrible luck, I'm just going to do it from scratch. There we go. And now we just clone this. Select bone, wheel, right, or rear left, actually, that's what it stands for. So now they both are bone merged to the vehicle. Now, you're going to want to hit where so that others can see it. And if you can't, sometimes when you hit where and you exit pack, you won't be able to see it. What you're going to want to do is press the tilde button, which on your keyboard looks like this. Or this. It's right next to your, right under your escape key. Now, you press that, open console, and type in pack draw distance negative one. then you'll always be able to see your pack or anyone else's. So, and I would recommend you telling anyone else who would like to drive or look at your vehicle to do that as well. So now, I can get in and drive it, and it'll follow me around. Now, here's an, another thing you can do with pack, is, let's clear this out. 
Now it's got the group selected. Select it again. You're going to want to add an entity. This is... Just watch what I'm doing. You'll see what I'm doing in a sec. You want to add an entity and then set the alpha to zero. That'll make it invisible and apparently move you temporarily. So give it a sec here. Add a model. Go to vehicles. Half-Life 2 Jeep. Copy clipboard. Paste that in there. Bone merge it. Oh, wait. <laughs> I didn't set the alpha to zero. I set the size to zero. That's why it's acting weird. Alright, you want to set the alpha to zero. Alright, now the new one's bone merged. So now, if we go to model clip, we can clip it. Similar to the visual clip tool. So this one's a lot easier to use. Now you can, um, you can really do a lot with this if you spend some time using it. It's best to, um, use these, and then you can use, like, real numbers, like 90, 180, negative 180. It's a lot smoother than just dragging the arrows yourself, unless you really have to. See? Voila, now we got, like, a little sporty thing going on here. Now we press where, and we exit. And now we got this thing. Look at that. So, there's that. Now, on a vehicle, if we look at all the bones that there are, let's just take a look at the bones. There's a lot of bones. Rig buggy view. Okay, now what that is, or not that one, where is it? It's a uh, viewer. It's one. I know it was in this vicinity. Well, the steering wheel, obviously that's the steering wheel. Anything you add to that will go on the steering wheel. If you want to build on the steering wheel, you can add, like, you can make the steering, you can actually. Well, if you're using the, yeah, you can, you can add stuff to the steering wheel. Same way you add them to the wheels, really. And, uh, there's also, um, Okay, when you're gonna wanna when you're moving physical bones on the actual vehicle, you don't want to do it inside the model. That's the mistake I was just making. Then you want to click rig buggy view here. Now what that'll change is it'll change the position of the driver. And that'll actually not only change where it looks like you're sitting, that'll also change where um you view from while you're driving it. So like for say I would to move it onto this side of the car. Then I hit where. And exit pack. Now I go in first person. Oh, look where I'm sitting. third person. It looks like that. This can be useful if you want to make your pack vehicle taller or lower so that it doesn't look like your driver is out of place. Or if you just want to do something funny like this. It's kind of funny. Uh, I don't recommend moving around too many of the bones on the base vehicle. Not many of them are able to be manipulated that well they just kinda screw up the vehicle but you can shrinking the wheels won't affect performance it'll just hide them but pretty much anything else will screw it up besides view, um, rig buggy view and that's about it for now so let's see you guys make some vehicles cause I am tired of making all the vehicles using packet or